Sports Medicine is the most trusted of its kind in Northeast Indiana. That's because of the benefits our services provide you. We serve every level of athlete with our sports nutritionists, the expert physicians at O&E, the area's only specialized athletic rehab, and the region's industry leader in sports performance, AWP. The roster coordinates your care in state-of-the-art facilities conveniently located in your community. To start your journey, visit us at parkviewsportsmedicine.com. Welcome to Carroll High School for our second game of our doubleheader tonight on SummitCitySports.com between the so visiting Southside Archers who come into this game at 4-6 and six on the season, 2-2 two and two overall in conference. They're coached by Coach Mike Novell, who's 51 and 86 in seven years at Southside High School. Overall, he's 3-12 and 4-02 in 31 years coaching high school basketball. <clears throat> for Carroll Chargers, they come into this game at 7-3, three and one in conference and they're coached by Marty Beasley. He's 171 and 112 years at Carroll High School and 240 and 165 in 18 years. The starters for the, the visiting archers will be number one, a sophomore, Mikhail Stevenson, number five, a senior, Dennis Johnson, number 10, a sophomore, Amari Hall, number 12, a junior, Courtney Shorter, and number 21, Trajan Didier. For the Carroll Chargers, their starters are number four, a senior, Jacob Redding, number 11, a junior, Arius Jones, number 15, a senior, Anthony Martin, number 25, a senior, Jordan Bridges, and number 33, their big man in the middle, a junior, Riley Purley. Earlier tonight, we had a good game between uh, the Southside Lady Archers and Carroll Lady Chargers, where the Carroll Chargers were victorious 63 to 57. A nice crowd is assembled here at Carroll High School. Jacob Redding being announced as he's coming in for these two teams. They're looking to get going on the season a little bit. Southside has arguably one of the toughest early schedules of the season where they had to play Brownsburg, Fort Wayne North, Zionsville, and Northrop all early in the season. They're on a three-game winning streak. They've won three over their last three games, one over Marion, one over Canterbury, and against Concordia last Friday night. For Carroll, they're coming off a loss to Bishop Lewers, 64-72. Before that, they had wins over DeWanger and DeKalb. So, Carroll trying to get back on the winning side and Southside trying to continue their, their uh, hot streak as of lately for Coach Novell. <clears throat> it looks like Southside's got some help off the bench tonight too. It looks like DeMarc A. Perkins and Wallace Nord are back in the lineup for Southside. Today's broadcast is brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're ready for action here at Carroll High School. Our official Jeff Lytle to throw the ball up here. The band is done. A good pet band here at Neon Nation here at Carroll High School. And Anthony Martin to jump against the sophomore Amari Hall. Amari Hall in his last couple games has been very aggressive under the basket. He's uh, been in double figures the last two games. Here we go. We're underway here at Carroll High School with Carroll controlling Arius, Arius Jones to bring it up now against Courtney Shorter. Southside in their greens while Carroll will be in their home whites. Jones now up top to Anthony Martin. He's guarded by Dennis Johnson. Redding will drive baseline. His two footers off and rebounded by Stevenson. Stevenson for Southside will bring it up left side. Look for Courtney Shorter. We'll go back up top and now over to Trajan Didier. Shooters for Southside are Courtney or uh, Shorter and Didier. You got to close out on them and then they've got a junk baller that will get a lot of offensive rebounds underneath and Dennis Johnson, a football player on the team. There's a deflection into the backcourt and Southside retains. Their point guard is is Mikhail Stevenson. He can ill afford to get in foul trouble tonight against Carroll High School. He really makes the offense go. There's a Didier, and he'll give it up. And it's going to be off of Dennis Johnson and out of bounds, and Carroll will get the ball. Ball 
Bridges to inbounds. Shorter guarded by, or Jones, Arius Jones guarded by Shorter. They'll get it into Anthony Martin. He'll turn and look, and he's guarded by Trajan Didier. Didier cuts him off, makes him go back left. He'll give it up to Bridges. Now up top to Redding. Redding will shoot his three, and it's good. That's a guy you've got to close out on if you're south side. You cannot trail over the top of screens against him. He will make you pay. Stevenson on the drive, a nice crossover, and he's in with two points. 6.36 remains. We're all uh, south, south side trails 3-2 to two to the Chargers. Anthony Martin left side gives it to Bridges. He walks, and there's a turnover. South side gets the ball back. Dennis Johnson to inbounds. He gets it to Stevenson, guarded by Redding. Carroll now in a 2-3 zone. Nope, they switch back to man-to-man. -to -man. Shorter now to Hall, round to the right side, into Stevenson, down low to Dennis Johnson. He'll back it back out, give it up to Stevenson, up top to Shorter. Shorter will drive right to the foul line, 15-footer on the way, bounces up once and it's hard off the backboard, and Perlick gets it. Arius Jones pushes it now for Carroll, up to Redding. Redding looks back to Jones. He'll pull up and shoot a three-pointer. It's off the back of the rim, no good. Dennis Johnson has it, and he'll give it up to Didier. Didier will pull up for three from about 19 feet and hit. Didier hits his first shot. Southside with an early lead, 5-3, with 5.40 remaining here at Carroll High School. Jones goes left, cut off by Shorter. He'll pick it up now, give it up to Anthony Martin. Anthony Martin, Redding, good three-point shooters for Chargers. Nice, nice there. Exchange there by south side on that pick where they switched. And now they're talking once again, and now they're back on the guys they're supposed to be guarding. Martin drives left. His jumper, his runner in the lane is good. Martin scores. We're tied up at five. Stevenson now over to Johnson to Didier. Didier averaging 21 points a game. He'll get underneath the hall. It's deflected away. They don't see it. Now Hall will drive in, gives it up left-handed. He's deflected and goes right to... Perlick. Perlick now up to Bridges. He'll drive in the lane. He's cut off. Shorter did not get position. And I believe they're going to call this foul on Courtney Shorter for south side. Yep, that foul is on Shorter. His first. The team's first at the line shooting. Two will be Bridges. Courtney Shorter comes into this game averaging 15 points a game with four rebounds. Bridges this year just averaging one point. His first one's up, in, and out. Eldridge enters the game for Amari Hall. Eldridge is coming off two back-to-back -back really good games. Played really well underneath, stayed in the post, and has had to guard the other team's big man in every game against Concordia. He had to do it against Nick Webb. Bridges' second one's up and good, so he's right at his average already. He's got one. Chargers ahead 6-5. to five. Stevenson now left side to Shorter. His crossover, he'll pull up. He'll shoot. His ball's hard off the back of the rim. Picked up by Perlick. And Redding, they better stop him. Oh, he's got a nice move. He gives it up to Anthony Martin, and Anthony Martin scores an easy basket. So, 16-footer on the way for... Oh, Shorter's going to pick up a second quick foul here. The ball was missed. I believe that shot was by Stevenson. So Shorter's going to have to take a seat with 422 remaining here in the first quarter. Into the game will be number three, DeMarque Perkins. He'll see his first action. He did not play last week. So he gets in the game. Into the game, number 12, Dylan Redding. And he'll replace Bridges and also number 10, Reese Swoverland to enter the game for the Chargers. And he'll replace Jacob Redding. So both teams going to their bench early here. We're halfway through the first quarter. Swoverland gets it into Jones. Jones guarded by Stevenson. He's cut off. Nice defense by Stevenson. He'll make him go back left. He'll give it up to Anthony Martin. Now to Swoverland. Swoverland left baseline. He'll drive baseline. He's cut off. Gives it up to Martin. His four-footer's good. Martin with six. 10-5 lead now by Carroll. Eldridge from about six feet out. He misses, rebounded by Arius Jones. He gives it out to Anthony Martin. Martin will go up. He'll attack the rim and score with his left hand. 
See if Coach Novell uses a quick timeout here. Seven-point lead. Nice move by Stevenson. He'll back it back out. Gives it up to Dennis Johnson. Now to Didier. Didier drives right to the foul line. His ball's deflected. Picked it up by Perk. Or Perlick. He'll give it up to Swerverland. His wild shot's off. And there's Anthony Martin for his 10th point already. Timeout on the court. Looks like it's going to be a 30-second timeout by Southside. Parkview Sports Medicine is a, a proud supporter of Fort Wayne Area Athletics and its athletes. Parkview Sports Medicine can provide the training, treatment, and education you need to advance your sports game. Have any questions about injury prevention, sports nutrition, and more? We've got you covered. That's Parkview Sports Medicine at parkview.com. Sports Center Inc. is Fort Wayne's premier sporting goods dealer, offering equipment, embroidery, and screen printing. Sports Center is ready and willing to help you place orders or answer any questions concerning pricing. Sports Center Inc. is located at 5511 Coventry Lane, Fort Wayne, Indiana. 325 remains here at Carroll High School, where the Archers trail the Carroll Chargers 14 to 5. Early turnovers and poor shooting plaguing South Side here early. Carroll in their man-to-man -man defense. They look underneath for Ditter. Here's cut off. Now back out to Eldridge. He finds a cutting Perkins who dribbles the ball off his knee. And Redding comes up with the loose ball for Carroll. He pushes. He stopped. He'll give it up to number 12. That is Dylan Redding, his brother, and he hits a three. And the lead extends to 12. Stevenson with a nice little six-footer, and he scores again. Lead back down to 10. Perlick gets the ball, now back to Redding. Redding's fouled by Perkins. That's Perkins first, the team's third. Re-entering is Arias Jones, and he'll replace Anthony Martin. 250 remains here in the first quarter. Carroll leads 17-7 over Southside. Southside now will go to their press. Perkins on the ball. Swoverland throws an outlet to Arias Jones. This could be a dunk. And he goes up and jams it. Arias Jones with a big dunk. They ran a run out play there and it worked to perfection. Swoverland, an ex-baseball player with a nice baseball pass right to Arias Jones. Stevenson now he'll control. He goes right, comes back left, finds Didier left baseline. His three-pointer is good. Just what, just what the Southside needed, a three-pointer to end that run. Southside trails by nine, 215 remains. Jones now to Redding, back to Redding. Redding will drive in the lane, his left-hander's up and good. That was Jacob Redding from his brother Dilling. Stevenson pushes, finds Trajan Didier, he'll pull up and shoot a three-pointer, and it's good. Didier with nine. Southside just needs to come up with some stops here. Arias Jones will push. Nobody cuts him off. That's going to be a blocking foul on Dennis Johnson. That will be his first. The team's fourth. That was a good call. He didn't see. I don't believe he even saw him coming in there. And, he found, and uh, Arias Jones found a guy that wasn't looking. Went right over him. Got fouled. And he'll have a chance for two here from the foul line. Jones' first one's up and off the right side of the rim. Shorter returns and Bridges returns for Carroll. Didier to sit. That's interesting. Didier is the only hot player on the court right now, and he's going to take a break. Shorter comes in. He already has two fouls, so he's got to be really careful out there with 150 remaining here in the first quarter. Arias Jones to shoot a second one. No one on the line for Carroll. The ball's off, almost picked off by Jones. Bridges gets a rebound, and he'll give it up to Stevenson. Stevenson right side now left to to Dennis Johnson. Dennis Johnson looks inside, nobody there. Spacing not real good right now for South Side. Bridges way out high, or excuse me, that would be Eldridge way outside. He'll give it up to Shorter, he'll drive in, he's cut off. No one there, he'll give it to Perkins. Perkins will go in. Now he'll give it up to Dennis Johnson. Jensen to Shorter. Right side to Stevenson, up top to Shorter. Shorter drives right, cut off by Swoverland. Now all the way around to Stevenson, he won't shoot. He drives, and the balls, they're gonna call a hold. I believe on Arius Jones. Jones. 
That will be his first, the team's first. Perkins will leave. Didier will return for south side. Let's see if we have any more subs come in here. We don't. Didier to inbounds under the, his own basket for south side. He looks for Eldridge. Nothing there. He'll get it up top to Stevenson. He'll let it go over his right shoulder and corral it in the backcourt. 1-13 remains here in the first quarter with Carroll leading 21-13. Eldridge now he'll look for shorter. Shorter turns. He's got the smaller bridges on him. No shot. Didier against Swoverland. Stevenson left baseline. He'll shoot a three-pointer, and it's good. Stevenson having a nice start to the game with seven points. Stevenson against Redding. Redding will drive right. He's cut off, and there's going to be a foul on number one, Stevenson. His first, team's fifth. Anthony Martin will return for Carroll, and he'll take the place of Riley Perlick. Perlick six, Anthony Martin back in. Carroll controls with 44 seconds remaining. Southside's cut the lead down to five, 21-16. Bridges has it up top against Didier. He's looking for a point guard to come up and get the ball. Now he'll find Swoverland left side, over to the left side again to Arias Jones, guarded by Shorter. Good matchup between these two tall, lean guys. Swoverland, he'll drive. He'll go up left-handed. It's missed. Oh, and Arius Jones caught it and missed it. Now deflected by Bridges. Bridges looks up at the clock. He sees that he's got time left, and he scores. So Bridges gets it and scores. 15 seconds remaining. Shorter will drive in. No shot. I believe they're going to call this on the floor. This foul will be on 11. Anthony Martin, number 15, that will be his first, the team's second. Southside will inbounds to Didier. Didier gets it to Dennis Johnson, his short shot's off, but there's Eldridge with a good offensive rebound, and he misses the bunny. Redding, Redding comes up with it. He looks up at the clock. He sees Swoverlin in the corner for three. It's off, and Anthony Martin, oh, he could have tipped that in, and that's how we'll end the first quarter. With Carroll leading 23 to 16 over South Side. Fast paced action here at Carroll High School between these two teams. Summit City Sports is a proud to partner with the new Sentinel, Allen County's oldest continuous operating business, bringing you the most comprehensive high school athletic coverage in the area. The new Sentinel is available for delivery six times a week in Allen County and always online at www.newsentinel.com. Some first, half stat, or first quarter stats. Mikhail Stevenson with seven points and Trajan Didier with nine. So that's pretty easy to do those for, for them. They're hitting some three pointers. Uh, they've hit, they are three of three from shooting it from beyond distance. So Southside starting out hot from way outside. See if they can get some stops on defense. They cut it down to five. They've got it to seven and see if they can get it a little bit closer here in the second half, see if they can get rid of those uh, unnecessary turnovers. Amari Hall, Shorter, Didier, Stevenson, and Dennis Johnson on the floor for South Side. Anthony Martin, Arius Jones, Dylan Red, Jacob Redding, Bridges, and I believe Perlick has re-entered. Dennis Johnson, the inbound, he'll get it to Stevenson. He'll look right to Didier. He's guarded by Bridges. Got a close out on him. He's had a hot first quarter. He's shorter getting called on a carry. Southside turnovers uh, into the game. Number 22, Everett Merritt. Merritt just a sophomore, averaging one point a game. He's a good defender, and he likes to get to the basket. He's a high riser. Redding will get it into Arius Jones. Jones will bring it up against Stevenson. Stevenson makes him go right. He'll give it up to Bridges, looking for a cut in Martin. He's cut off there by Dennis Johnson. Now they'll get it to Perlick, out about 16 feet. Nowhere to go. He'll give it up to Anthony Martin. His three-pointer is good. 15. Anthony Martin with 13 here in the first half. He brings the lead back up to 10. 
Stevenson will shoot a three-pointer. That was oh, that was right on line. I had a good vantage point of it. Perfect right there, and it went. It was three quarters of the way in and out. Reading now, you got to Didier's got to close out on him. He cannot play any more than about a foot off of him. And there's a hold on Amari Hall. Hall will pick up his first. That'll be the team's sixth. Anthony Martin to inbounds. Anthony Martin looks underneath, finds nobody. Now a nice bounce pass to Riley Perlick, and he misses the easy shot, and Hall rebounds. Southside looks to cut into the lead by the Chargers. They're down 10, 256 remains. There's 651 remains. Amari Hall, he'll drive in. His wild shot is off, gets his own rebound, gives it up to Dennis Johnson. He short arms it and misses it. There's a scrum for the ball. Anthony Martin comes up with it, and a timeout. Carroll. Looks like we'll have a 30-second timeout here. 30-second timeout on the court. Sports Center Inc. is Fort Wayne's premier sporting goods dealer, offering equipment rental, embroidery, and screen printing. Sports Center is ready and willing to help you place orders and or answer any questions concerning pricing. Sports Center Inc. is located at 5511 Coventry Lane, Fort Wayne, Indiana. 468-04. Well, this is the second game of our doubleheader earlier this evening. The Lady Carroll Chargers, they were victorious over Southside Lady Archers, 63-57. It was a good game. A little bit of a turnover fest at some points for the Southside Lady Archers. They look good going into sectional play, which will begin in two weeks in the girls' high school state championship. Neon Nation in full effect here at Carroll High School tonight. The band dressed in their neon shirts and the student sections as well. Didier will guard Jacob Redding on the ends bounds. The officials get figuring out who needs to go where here. And we're ready to get back to play after the 30-second timeout. Arias Jones to get the ball. I don't know if Southside even wants to press. Just go back and play some good half-court man-to-man. Stevenson almost picks Arias Jones' pocket. And he'll get it to Redding. Right side looks for Anthony Martin cutting. Not there. Now he finds a cutting Arias Jones. Nice secondary cut by Arias Jones. Once Anthony Martin cleared that area down on the post, Arius Jones was able to run right down there and get a nice, easy layup. Lead back up to 12 for the Chargers. Anthony Martin will guard Stevenson. Now Amari Hall, he'll shoot about a six-footer, and it's good. Amari Hall, he's in the, on the scorebook now with his first two. The lead cut back to 10. Didier against Redding, now to Jones. Jones will go left, cut off there by Stevenson. Nice defense by Stevenson. He tips it away, and it's out of bounds off the south side. Carroll to inbounds under their own basket. That's Redding. You've got to watch him giving it up and coming back to get it. And he's going to come around now, and he wants the ball. He's not able to get it. Now they'll get it to Anthony Martin, left side. He'll come back up to the top and get it to Jacob Redding. He'll shoot a floater in the lane. It's off. And originally they called the ball to... South side, but I think he just pointed the wrong way, and that'll be Carroll's ball. It went off for Amari Hall. He was standing on the baseline right there, and they give the ball back to Carroll. Now Redding way up top to Arias Jones, all the way out to the circle. Now back underneath the Redding, and his layup's good. Redding with his seventh, the lead back to 12. Eldridge will return here shortly for South side. Didier will shoot about a 22 footer and goes in and out. Rebounded by Martin. So two three-pointers, three-quarters of the way down for Southside. Don't drop here in the first half. Redding three on the way, and it's good. Redding in double figures with 10. The lead extends to 15, 33-18. Five minutes remains here in the first half. Stevenson, he'll shoot a 17-footer. It's off. Rebounded by Arias Jones, and he's fouled. I it's either going to be Dennis Johnson or Amari Hall, and it is Hall. Amari Hall picks up his second, the team's seventh. Shorter and Eldridge to return for South Side. Number 35 into the game for Carroll. That's that's Nate Witte. And number 20 enters the game, Nathan Fish. Arius Jones with the line shooting. 
His first one's up and good. Arius Jones with his fifth. He'll shoot the second one. Looking to extend the lead. And it's good. Jones with six. The lead now up to 17. Swoverland replaces Jones. 4.52 four, four remains. Carroll leads 35-18 over south side. Shorter left side. He looks inside the hall. And then the ball's kicked away by Anthony Martin. See where they give the ball to him. It looks like it's going to be over here right in front of the scores table, and it will. Normally, Ditterier takes it out, but it'll be shorter this time for South. He gives it to Stevenson right up top. Now he gets a nice pick by Shorter. Got to be careful there on a moving screen. Stevenson will drive right. Go back left, and that ball's deflected off the out of bounds, off of Didier's hand, and Carroll will get the ball back. 4.33 remains here in the first half with Carroll leading 35-18 over south side. Redding against Stevenson. Good matchup here between these two. Didier almost comes up with a pickoff there on that little bit of a lazy pass there by Redding to Swoverland. Coach Beasley getting them set up in their inbounds play. Swoverland inbounds. He finds Anthony Martin. Oh, he got away with a walk. Big time walk. He'll go up, deflected, and picked up by Shorter. Shorter pushes it up to Stevenson. Stevenson in the lane against Fish. And he gives it up, and it's picked up, and then pick, picked off by Stevenson. There'll be a foul on the play. I believe it's on number 35, Nate Witte. Stevenson missed the shot. Oh, the foul was on number 10, Reese Swoverland. That will be his first, the team's third. Trajan Didier to inbounds. Arius Jones gets back in the game, and he'll replace Jacob Redding. Or Didier left side, he fumbles it, so he'll drive. Nothing there. He'll have to kick it. Deflected by Arius Jones, and he'll push it up to Swoverland. Swoverland's blocked by Stevenson. He looks up. They had Didier wide open, and now he fumbles the ball, and they'll have to reset. Shorter will drive baseline, and that's going to be a charge, and that's going to be Shorter's third foul here in the first half. His third, the team's eighth. Good defense there by Reese Wolverland. Bridges returns and Fish will exit. Swoverland to inbounds against the press of South. Bridges has it. He's up against Dennis Johnson, who just checked back in. Arius Jones with a nice move, gives it to Bridges. Now back to Jones against Didier. A little bit of a mismatch there for Arius Jones. Anthony Martin comes off the screen up top. Nothing there. He gives it up to Jones. Left side against Dennis Johnson. Now up top to Witte. Back over to Swoverland. Swoverland will get it to Bridges. He loses control. Gets it back. Gives it up to Swoverland. Now to Jones. And he'll throw it right to the bench. Turnover Carroll. The south side gets it back. And Riley Perlick will enter the game for Witte. He'll, return, he'll come in for Carroll. Witte about uh, gave Perlick about a two-minute break there. Stevenson now, he'll bring it up against Bridges. Left side to Dennis Johnson. Not really a threat to shoot from the outside. Stevenson's looked pretty good shooting the three-pointers. Even the one he missed was right there. Nice pass inside the hall, and he just missed it. Now Carroll has it, and I believe we're going to have a jump ball. And Carroll will get the ball with 2.59 remaining. Perkins to return for Southside, and Jacob Redding to return for Carroll along with Dylan Redding. Carroll doing a nice job of uh, keeping some fresh legs out there. Nice outlet to Anthony Martin. He'll go up with an easy two. Anthony Martin with his 15th point. And the lead extends to 19. Perkins now left side. He looks underneath for Dennis Johnson. There's going to be a hold on Anthony Martin. That will be his second, the team's fourth. Anthony Martin. 
They'll leave Anthony Martin in. Didier will inbounds. He's looking for Perkins. Coming off the screen. Nothing there. He'll throw it up top to Stevenson. He'll shoot a three-pointer. And it's good. Mikhail Stevenson in double figures with 10. The lead's down to 16. Arius Jones against Perkins. Nothing there. Gives it up to Anthony Martin. 2.30 remains. Redding now against Stevenson. Perlick way outside. Good spacing by Carroll here in the second quarter. Anthony Martin gets it back from Red Dylan Redding, and he'll go left side to his brother Jacob. Now up top to Anthony, or uh, against Darius Jones, and he'll give it to Anthony Martin to Perlick inside. He'll post up. He'll go in. He's bumped. His shot is off. Could have been better suited to go up left-handed on that shot and get the ball away from the body of Dennis Johnson. Stevenson feeling it, and he'll shoot another three. That's off. Rebounded by Jacob Redding. No numbers for Carroll, so they'll set up their offense. 149 remains. Southside trails by 16, 37, 21 to Carroll. Anthony Martin, nice curl off of that. Nothing there. He'll drive in, cut off. Dylan Redding, he'll shoot a three, and it's good. Didier, his runner in the lane is good. Didier with his 11th point, so he joins Mikhail Stevenson in double figures. We're going to be a hold on Mikhail Stevenson. That'll be his second. The team's ninth. Arius Jones will shoot one on one for Carroll. Swoverlin comes in for Dylan Redding. He's had a nice first half with five points off the bench. Officials confirming that, yes, this is one one Saw in the first game tonight where the Lady Archers forgot it was one one and it was hard off the backboard. And Carroll's Kelly Damon picked it up and was able to do good stuff with it and got fouled right away. Arius Jones misses and Southside controls. Didier now, he's got it in the lane. His runner's up and off, and there's a foul on the wrist. And that foul's on number 11, Arius Jones, his second. The team's fifth, and Didier will shoot two. Lead 17 for Carroll. 107 remains here in the first half. Didier's first one is good. Didier now with 12 points, and Bridges will replace Arius Jones, which will move either Swoverlin or Redding back to point guard for Carroll. Didier's second one on the way, and good. Didier with a nice stroke. Southside, a young team. Carroll's got some seniors and also got some nice depth younger at the younger age levels. Redding against Stevenson. Nothing there. Under a minute to go here in the first half. Bridges against Johnson. Left side. He looked underneath. Nothing there. Gives it to Anthony Martin. Left baseline. Martin again base, left baseline. Looks for a cutter. Nothing there. Gives it up to Redding. Redding controls. We're to 40 seconds remaining here in the first half. Carroll leads. 40-25 over south side. Swoverlin way outside, now to Perlick. And there's a moving screen on Bridges. His first, the team's six, and south side gets the ball back. See if they can trim this lead down to single digits before halftime. Redding against Stevenson. Didier way outside. He points for somebody to come give him a pick. Nobody helps him. Nice pick and roll. Oh, nice block by Redding. And then picked up by... Oh, they're going to call... Wow, they're going to call a charge on Trajan Didier. That's his first. The team's 10th. So Southside had an opportunity to close into the... Bring that lead down, and with that turnover, gives the ball right back to Carroll with... 15 seconds remaining in the first half. Stevenson against Redding. He'll bring it up, go left side and stop. Go back right. Didier comes out, tries to cut him off. Oh, nice look underneath to Anthony Martin, and he scores again. Anthony Martin with 17 first half points. Didier shoots the three. It's good if it goes. And it doesn't. At halftime, it's 42-25. Carroll over south side. We'll be back with second half of action. We'll give you a score update, scoring update of this game. And you've been watching High School Basketball brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. 
Welcome back to Carroll High School, where Carroll leads South Side 42-25. Here's her scoring as it goes in the first half. Pretty much all the scoring came for three players for South Side. Mikhail Stevenson had 10. Amari Hall with two. And Trajan Didier leaves all scorers for South Side with 13. For Carroll, they're led in scoring by Anthony Martin. He has 17. Jacob Redding has 10. Arius Jones has six. Dylan Redding has five off the bench. And Jordan Bridges has 12. South side with a lot of turnovers there in the second quarter led to some big points by, by Carroll, who's been really hitting the ball from outside in the first half. For South side to get back in this game, they're going to need to play some better defense. They're going to need to block out and figure out that motion offense that Carroll runs so effectively where they run a guy to the post and he runs out and another guy just replaces him. Didier and uh, Stevenson are going to have to find some help from some other players on the court. Uh, they got some points out of Mari Hall, but uh, those were few and far between. Coach Novell, he's looking to keep this win streak a lot going here. He's got a three-game win streak going. Carroll, they lost their last game against Bishop Lures. So they're trying to keep the keep things rolling as well as they're about to admit boys basketball's midway through their season. Girls basketball, meanwhile, has only got one week left when sectionals will start. Check out the ISHA website to find the brackets for the girls state championship tournament. Well, we're about ready to go. Southside just now returning out to the court. Carroll went through a full warm-up. Southside just now back out on the court. For Carroll, they're seven and three. After tonight's game, they will go tomorrow to 4A Merrillville to play. Then on January the 27th, they will play one of the hottest teams in Fort Wayne, the Fort Wayne Snyder Panthers led by Big Malik Williams, who's headed to Louisville. For Southside, tonight they were supposed to play tomorrow night against Broad Ripple, but that game's been canceled. So their next game will be on January the 27th at home against Bishop DeWanger. That game you'll be able to hear right here on SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports, like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. South side to get the ball to start the second half. Shorter now, he's got, to, he's got to be careful. He's got three fouls. They'll give it up to Stevenson. Stevenson against Redding. Now over to Dennis Johnson. Now to, no threat to shoot the ball from the outside. Anthony Martin guards. Shorter, shorter, drives in. He has nowhere to go. He gives it up to Stevenson, who's had a nice first half. That ball's deflected. He, the lost art of the bounce pass. You've got to learn to get the ball the right angle to your postman. You try to get it in there up high. Those big hands of the big guys underneath are able to deflect that ball away, and that's exactly what Riley Perlick did. They deflect it away, and Southside, get, and Southside has a turnover, and now Carroll has a chance to extend their lead. Dylan Redding to shoot a long three-pointer from the right side, and it's good. His 13th, a lead up to 25. Stevenson now, he'll go left side to Shorter. Shorter drives in. He'll give it to Stevenson. His three-pointer's good. So Stevenson having a really good game tonight. That is his third three-pointer. Lead back down to 17. Jones brings it up. He'll right underneath the bridges. He's wide open, and his layup is good. Bridges, Didier now, he'll shoot a three-pointer. Good rotation, and his three-pointer's good. He hits, that's his 16th point of the game. Arius Jones brings it up, now he gives it to Redding. Redding will go back right. Dribbles into the trap, now gets it to Anthony Martin right side. He finds a cutting Perlick and he's hammered by Trajan Didier. You'll we'll see Eldridge will return to the lineup for south side. Didier second, the team's first. Perlick to shoot two. Perlick's first one is up, off the back of the rim, and then hits the rim again, and no good. Perlick comes into this game averaging 12 points a game and has three rebounds per game. Mari Hall will sit for south side. Eldridge comes in for him. 
Perlick, just a junior. Second one up and in and out. Rebounded by Dennis Johnson. He'll give it up to Stevenson. Can Southside put a couple good quick runs in here. Shorter's got it. He's way outside. Too much dribbling. Stevenson now up top against Redding. He'll find Didier. Didier will drive back up top. Stevenson, he'll drive. He's cut off. Shorter has it right side. He'll shoot his three-pointer. It's off the back of the rim. Rebounded by Dennis Johnson. Finds Didier right side. He drives in. Bridges cuts him off. Stevenson up top. See if he looks to shoot. He does not. Didier out top, right side. Looks for Eldridge. Nothing there. Finds Shorter. His three-pointer's up and good. Finally, Courtney Shorter on the board with three. Anthony Martin almost got caught with only having one foot in bounds on that first pass to him. Bridges now gets it to Redding. Now underneath to Jones. He's bumped and the shot is missed. That foul will be on Eldridge. That will be his first, the team's second. And Arius Jones will go to the line. Coach Novell looking for an answer why that was called. A pretty good call there. Not sure uh, Brandon Eldridge was square to the play anyways. Jones will shoot and his first one's good. Arius Jones just a junior as well. His second one is up and good. Jones with eight. Carroll leads 49-34 over south side. Shorter and a long three-pointer off the back of the rim. Just too hard. Good block out there by Anthony Martin on him. Redding controls and gives it up to Jones. Jones will drive in now into there. He gets it to Martin who had the hot hand in the first half and he's fouled and he scores. Anthony Martin with his 19th point, and he'll have a chance to get to 20. That foul was on number 15. Brandon Eldridge, his second, the team's third. Anthony Martin to shoot one. One dribble. Martin shot is in and out. That rim unfriendly to the Carroll shooters in the second half. Remember in the first half, Southside had a couple three-pointers that went three-quarters of the way down on that rim and then came out. Stevenson, he'll look. Nothing there. Gives it to Shorter. He'll drive right to the foul line. He gives it up and loses it. Didier comes up with a loose ball. Now we have a scrum. The ball's just all over the place. Didier gets a nice pass into Eldridge, and he's little one-footer is good. Eldridge from Trajan Didier and Southside now within 15. Perlick has it. He's right side, double team, gives it up to, to Bridges, and the ball's knocked out of bound by Eldridge. Carroll gets it into Redding, now over to Jones. Now he'll get it back to Redding, now back to Jones. Carroll will set up their offense and run and ready on the baseline. Oh, Perlick turns around and nobody picked him up. And he misses a short one. Johnson picks it up. Southside can cut into this lead. Dennis Johnson left baseline, gives it to Shorter in the lane. He'll give it to Didier up top. He's got a nice pick there by Shorter. Didier will back it out, now drive in. And there's going to be a hold. Wolverland and Witty will return for Carroll. Bridges and Perlick will take a break. That foul was on Bridges, his second, the team's first. Didier to inbounds for Southside under their own basket. Looks for Stevenson. Oh, nice pass to Dennis Johnson right underneath. He doesn't go up with it. They find Didier, he'll drive in. His shot is off the back and tipped out of bounds by Anthony Martin. Southside gets the ball back. Didier a little out of control there. Four oh seven remains here in the third quarter with Carroll leading 51-36. Didier now right side, his three-pointers on the way, and it's good. Didier with his 19th point. He lead, he's tied in scoring with Anthony Martin. They both have 19. Carroll having no problem with the south side press. Anthony Martin misses his runner, gets his rebound. Gets it out top to Arius Jones. 
Jacob Redding will shoot a three-pointer. It's hard off the back. Out of bounds. Nobody tried to get it. And to go out of bounds, and Southside will get the ball, trailing by just 12 points. 337 remains here at Carroll High School with the Chargers leading 51-39. Southside needs to just be patient. And they're going to call a moving screen on Brandon Eldridge. His third, team's fourth. Actually, on Eldridge, that is his second. Swoverland gets it, gives it to Jones. Now he gives it to Anthony Martin. He cuts to the basket. Nice play there by Dennis Johnson to pick him off. He gives it up to Shorter. This could be a dunk, and it is. Courtney Shorter goes up and dunks it two hands, and Marty Beasley's seen enough, and he's going to call timeout. 318 remains here at Carroll High School with the Chargers leading by 10, 51 41 over the Southside Archers. Parkview Sports Medicine is a proud supporter of Fort Wayne Area Athletics and its athletes. Parkview Sports Medicine can provide the training, treatment, and education you need to advance your sports game. Have any questions about injury prevention, sports nutrition, and more? We've got you covered. That's Parkview Sports Medicine at parkview.com. Sports Center Inc. is Fort Wayne's premier sporting goods dealer, offering equipment rental, embroidery, and screen printing. Sports Center is ready and willing to help you place orders and or answer any questions concerning pricing. Sports Center Inc. is located at 5511 Coventry Lane, Fort Wayne, Indiana, 46804. SummitCitySports.com is proud to partner with the new Sentinel, Allen County's oldest continuously operated business bringing you the most comprehensive high school athletic coverage in the area. The new Sentinel is available for delivery six times a week in Allen County and always online at www.newsentinel.com. So Southside has turned up the defense and stopped turning the ball over, and they're able to get themselves back in the game. They're only down 10. we got 318 remaining. Can they come up with a few more stops and get the score within five before we get to the fourth quarter? Swoverland gets it inbounds to Perlick. Now he'll give it up to Redding on the right side. Now back to Perlick. Perlick up to Swoverland, and he's picked off there, and he's going to be called for the foul. Reese Swoverland, he'll pick up his second, the team's second. And Southside now has a chance to cut into this. Swoverland sits, and Dylan Redding returns for Carroll. Dennis Johnson to inbounds. He'll give it to Stevenson. See if Southside can just come up with a nice set play right here. Off the inbounds, and there's a nice pick and roll, but nothing there. And then Shorter loses control and gets the ball back. Didier left side, guarded by Jacob Redding. He drives in. His Oh, nice shot. His little scoop shot's good. Didier with 21 points in the lead, down to eight. Arius Jones has it, and he'll bring it up. Southside's kind of taken off the full court. A trap. They're just going to a 1 2 2, which has kind of changed the momentum back in their way. Dylan Redding off the bench and three pointer is good. Wow, Dylan Redding right off the bench and he's he's good. Missed by Stevenson. Shorter picks it up and he airballs it from about six feet. Lead back to nine for Carroll. Neon Nation letting him hear it. Anthony Martin drives right to the baseline. He'll give it to Perlick. Perlick will try a three-pointer, and it's good. Perlick from the left baseline, and he hits a three. Southside gets the score under 10, and now is down 14 quickly. Didier controls for South. He's guarded by Redding, gets a pick from Eldridge. Nothing there, gives it up to Stevenson. Southside really just needs to get a little better uh, spacing on the court. That would definitely help him out. Dennis Johnson up top against Perlick. Nothing there. He'll back it back out. Gives it up to Shorter, left side. He'll drive. He's cut off. He'll go on Perlick. Nice little pull up and off the backboard and good for Shorter. So Shorter with seven points all here in the second half. The lead back down to eight. Now Dylan Redding underneath to Anthony Martin and he'll hit another shot. Anthony Martin with 21. Stevenson looks underneath to Dennis Johnson. He misses, but there's Eldridge, and he's going to be fouled by either Martin or Arias Jones. That'll be two shots. And that's on number 11. That's Arias Jones, his third, the team's third.
Eldridge will shoot two. Southside trails by 14. His shot is up and in and out. Fish enters. Jacob Redding sits. Anthony Martin will take a seat, and Bridges will come in for him. Perkins to return for Southside. The next dead ball. Eldridge, just a junior. His left-handed shot is up and hard off the backboard. Rebounded by Perlick. For Carroll, now he gives it up to Jones. Jones double team. Now up to Perlick. It's nice to have a big guy that can just get the ball up to court and give it up to one of the point guards. Nathan Fish turns around. Nobody there. He'll take the 14-footer. It's short. And Didier controls for south side. Didier averaging 21 points this season. His crossover, and he's in the lane. His shot is up and off the back and rebounded by Dylan Redding. Oh, and they're going to call a hold on Dennis Johnson of South Side. His second, team's fifth. 45 seconds remains here in the third quarter with the Chargers leading 59-45. Eldridge will take a seat and Perkins will come in. Bridges to inbounds for South, or excuse me, Carroll, and he gets it into Jones, who's double teamed. Now back to Bridges and over to Perlick, right side. Redding right baseline, in and out, but picked up by Perlick. He goes up strong and misses, and Perkins gets the rebound. 30 seconds remain, and he's got to give it up to a guard, and he does to Stevenson, back to Didier. Three-pointer on the way, it's good. Didier on fire. That is the sixth three-pointer of the game. The lead back down to nine. A pickoff there by Perkins. He's got it. Will he go right to the rack? He pulls up. We're under 10 seconds. Southside, I'm not sure if they know how much time is left. Shorter to Didier. Didier nowhere to go. He's going to have to put up a long three-pointer. It's going to be no good. Neon Nation letting Didier know that that was an air ball, and it certainly was. That's the end of the third quarter here at Carroll High School. The Chargers lead 59 to 48 over Southside. Southside was able to cut into that big lead at halftime and get it down now to nine. They're in, they're within reaching distance, and with a hot shooting Stevenson and Trajan Didier, they can get this game really close here in the second half. Didier leads all scores with 24 points, and Anthony Martin for Carroll has 21. Today's broadcast is brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Parkview Sports Medicine is a proud supporter of Fort Wayne Area Athletics and its athletes. Parkview Sports Medicine can provide the training, treatment, and education you need to advance your sports game. Have any questions about injury prevention, sports nutrition, and more? We've got you covered. That's Parkview Sports Medicine at parkview.com. Fourth quarter action getting ready to start here at Carroll High School. This is a big Summit Athletic Conference game for both of these teams. Southside on the three-game winning streak. Carroll looking to get back on the winning side of the ledger after getting beat by Lures last week. Dennis Johnson, Stevenson, Didier, Perkins, and Shorter for South. Perlick, Martin, Bridges, Redding, and Redding for Carroll. Perkins has it right side and he'll pull up and shoot a 13 footer and it's good. Lead down to nine. Perkins a nice shot there, good pass. Oh, what a collision. Dennis Johnson, a football player, just comes up with a nice play. Perlick doesn't get out on time and Didier hits another three. And Marty Beasley has seen enough again and calls timeout. Didier super hot here in the second half. He's got 27. The lead's down to six. We've got a timeout on the court. A 30-second timeout. That play was all started by the good hustle play of Dennis Johnson, who deflected the pass, and Southside got a quick run out. SummitCitySports.com is proud to partner with the new Sentinel, Allen County's oldest continuously operated business bringing you the most comprehensive high school athletic coverage in the area. The new Sentinel is available for delivery six times a week in Allen County and always online at newsentinel.com. Can Southside continue to cut into this lead and get some more turnovers? Since they changed their press to a 1-2-2, they've been able to force some turnovers. 
And Carroll's gone a little bit cold from hitting inside the arc. Carroll will bring all four players up. Martin to inbounds, and he'll get it to Dylan Redding. Back to Martin, Martin to Arius Jones. Back to Martin. He'll fake and give it over to the left side to Redding. Now to Redding. Redding will shoot a three. It's good. Dylan Redding, man. He's a, off the bench with, with 11 points, three three-pointers. Perkins has it. He'll drive baseline. Nothing there. Cut off by Perlick. Underneath to the bigger Dennis Johnson against Redding. His shot is good. Nice play there by Perkins to get it inside. He recognized that mismatch and got it right to him. Be interesting to see if maybe Carroll shuts off this press and just goes to a straight half-court man-to-man or even a zone against Carroll. They're getting a lot of easy buckets, or a lot of easy opportunities at least at scoring against that press. That foul was on number three, Perkins. That is his second, the team's sixth. Anthony Martin at the line shooting two. Martin in this game, he has 21. He comes into the game averaging just seven points a game. His first one's up and a, and he misses. So Carroll going cold from the foul line. Didier and Anthony Martin both having big games tonight. Martin, most of his coming inside the paint while Didier's have all come from outside the paint and he'll miss. The lead's at seven. Can Southside cut it down to four? Nothing there. Stevenson wisely stops. Stevenson getting better every game I've watched him play this year. He'll give it to Shorter. Three-pointer on the way, and it's good. Courtney Shorter. He's in double figures with ten, and the lead is down to four. There's a timeout by Carroll. I think that Dil Jacob Redding was most in motioning to Perlick that he ran out of the spot he was supposed to be in on that press. He got caught in the trap. There's a full timeout on the court. Well, this is the second game of the evening. Earlier this evening, we had the Southside girls and Carroll girls play each other, and Carroll was victorious 63-57 to over the Lady Archers. That snapped a three-game, two-game win streak for the Lady Archers, who fell to 11-8 and on the season, 5-5 five and five in conference, while Carroll improves on their record to 16-5, Five and three in the Summit Athletic Conference. For Southside, their boys team, they were supposed to play a home game tomorrow against Broad Ripple, but that has been canceled. So their next game will be next Friday night against Bishop DeWanger, a Summit Athletic Conference foe. For Carroll, tomorrow night, they will be at Merrillville. And then on the 27th, they will welcome the leading team in the SAC, the Snyder Panthers. They'll have to go to Snyder to play the Panthers. Can they knock the Panthers off, put them in the put a loss in their SAC column, and help out the rest of the SAC? Because there's a big game going on tonight between Homestead and Northside Legends. Redding has the ball. Now he finds a wide open Anthony Martin. He's bumped, and that foul will be on Perkins. Probably not a bad foul, to be honest with you, because Anthony Martin just missed from the foul line, too. See who's sitting on the bench for South Side. Amari Hall has sat a long time along with Brandon Eldridge. See if the, one of those two gets back in the game here shortly. Martin's first one's on the way and off, so he's missed his last three. 6 10 remains here in the game with the Carroll Chargers leading 62 to 58 over South Side. Martin to shoot his second one. And it's good. Anthony Martin now with 22. The lead extends back to five by Carroll. Can Carroll fend off this pesky Southside team? Shorter's got a three-pointer. He'll pass it up and give it to Stevenson. We haven't seen him shoot a three here in the second half. See if he starts to pick it up a little bit. He'll drive in the lane. He's cut off. He'll give it to Dennis Johnson. Now to Shorter, left side. Good cut by Didier. He'll give it to Stevenson. He'll drive in. Nothing there. Didier against Jones. And there's a ball deflected away by Prillick. He'll pick it up. He looks up. He finds a wide open Jacob Redding who scores. Stevenson now he'll have the ball and they give it to Shorter. He'll shoot a three pointer from the left side. It rims in and out and Redding comes up with the rebound. The lead back to seven for Carroll. 518 remains. 
Dylan Redding caught over there in the corner, gives it to Arias Jones, wide open. Riley Perlick, three-pointer is good. So Perlick with two three-pointers in the game and the lead back to 10. Five minutes remains. Will Southside call a timeout here. Stevenson shoots a three-pointer, goes in and out and picked up by Arias Jones. He's run over by his own guy, Perlick, but he was able to hold on to the ball and he'll get Perlick will get the ball. He'll look up, give it to Arias Jones, now to Martin. Martin looks up, he's got Reddings on each wing. What a luxury that is to have two three-point shooters that can play the wings with no problem. Redding will drive in. His, oh, he tips in his own shot. Jacob Redding was 17. Lead back to 12. Has Carroll weather the storm. Jones against Didier. He dribbles around his back and has to stop. Picks up his dribble and gives it to Stevenson. Shorter now. He'll shoot another three-pointer. Oh, that one's halfway down and doesn't drop. Arius Jones pushes for south. He gives it up to Redding. His reverse layup is good. Redding with 19. Interesting to see that Coach Novell is not calling any timeouts. Nobody came back to help out. Dennis Johnson, now he gets it to Stevenson. So that timeout that Marty Beasley called certainly helped his team stop the, the run that Southside was on. Shot by Didier's up. It's off and rebounded by Anthony Martin. He wisely just holds up. Gives it to Arius Jones who gives it to Dylan Redding. Now to Jacob Redding who loses control. And I believe he got kneed right in the face. Stevenson will drive in and he's hacked and his shot is up and off. They're going to say the shot, the foul was on the floor. See if that's on Perlick. It is. Perlick's first. Team's fourth. Didier to inbounds for Southside with 327 remaining in the game. Southside's what well, was a hot shooting team now has gone cold from the three-point line. Dennis Johnson now to Stevenson. He'll shoot a three. It's off the back of the rim. And that's a push on Dennis Johnson in the back on Riley Perlick, and Carroll will get the ball. Johnson with his third, team's eighth. And we'll have a one and one. Riley Perlick shooting 1-1 one, one for the Carroll Chargers, leading 72-58 over Southside. Southside made a nice run here in the, in the fourth quarter, but they've seen that lead stop and Carroll extend it. They've just been able to hit way too many oh, wide open threes. Perlick hits from the foul line, he has seven. His second one is good. 74-58, Carroll. Stevenson inside. He's cut off by Redding. Inside is Perkins. His shot is deflected and picked up by Dylan Redding, who gives it to Jacob Redding. Jacob Redding is trapped in the backcourt, gives it up to Arias Jones, gives it up to Dylan Redding. Nice move. Oh, he loses control. Not sure if he slipped. They're going to call a kick. A kick? So it looks like Carroll will get the ball back under their own basket. Brandon Eldridge to return for, for south side. Looks like Perkins is going to come out. Redding to inbounds. He gets it to Martin. Martin will push it outside. Now to Arias Jones. Around to Dylan Redding. He looks underneath. Finds Perlick. Finds Anthony Martin. He's... He loses control, gets it out to Jones. Jones to Dylan Redding. Perlick, he'll shoot a three-pointer, and it's off and rebounded by Eldridge. Now all the way across court to Didier. He doesn't look to shoot. He'll give it up to Shorter. Shorter to Stevenson. He has a three-pointer, doesn't take it. Now he will, and it's good. Mikhail Stevenson with 16 points. The lead back down to 13. Underneath the Martin, his left-handed bunny is up and good. Anthony Martin with his 24th point, and he leads Carroll in scoring tonight. Didier now, he has a, from way outside. He'll drive. He's cut off by Jones. He loses control. Anthony Martin picks up the loose ball. Will he go in? He will. He goes up strong, and he's fouled by Shorter. Shorter's third foul. Martin will be at the line shooting two. 
for Carroll. He's down on the floor right now. I don't know if he twisted an ankle or what. Looks like he might have. The foul was on shorter. Anthony Martin at the line shooting two for Carroll. Shorter with actually his fourth foul, and Martin's first one is good. Martin now with 25. Lead back up to 15, 16. Second one's up around the rim and drops. Anthony Martin now with 26. The lead is 17 for Carroll. Shorter has it out top for south side. He's guarded by Dylan Redding. He drives in and is cut off. Now Stevenson, he'll pop another three-pointer. It's a good. That's his fifth three-pointer, and he's got 19. Dylan Redding on the run out, and he scores. Dylan Redding having a great night off the bench. Didier has it against Jones. That's a tough matchup for him to shoot over. Eldridge, he'll drive in. His left-hander off the backboard is no good and rebounded by Arius Jones. He looks up and finds a run out for Dylan, Dylan Redding, and he fakes him and then goes up and scores again. Dylan Redding with 16, now Shorter up quickly, and he scores. Shorter with his 12th. The lead is 16. We have one minute remaining here in the game at Carroll High School. Anthony Martin, he's out there. He'll give it up to Perlick, left baseline, and his three-pointer is good. Perlick with his 11th. And I believe we've got a foul on number four, a hold. Redding fouls. He'll take a seat. That's his first, team's fifth. Into the game will be Witty, Bridges, Arius Jones, Nate Fish, and Swoverlin for Carroll. They lead 51 seconds remaining, 85-66. Stevenson, he'll shoot a long three, and it's good again. Wow, Stevenson shooting really well tonight from the outside. He's got 22. 38 seconds remains. I'm sure Coach Novell said no fouls. 85-69. Swoverlin has it. He gives it up to Witty. His little short one's off. And it comes off so hard it hits Arius Jones as he's jumping up to catch the ball. And he deflects it completely out of bounds. And Arius Jones will take a seat tonight. And number 45, David Eja comes in for Carroll. Stevenson will come up and see if he'll just pop a three. He will. He's been hot. It's off the front of the rim and we rebounded by Witty. Swoverlin has it for Carroll. 17 seconds remain. She gives it to Bridges. Bridges back to Swoverlin. Underneath to Nate Fish, and he scores. Four seconds remains. Didier has the ball. He'll drive baseline. He'll pull up and take a 14-footer. It rims it in and out, and that's how we'll end the game tonight here at Carroll High School with the Carroll Chargers winning the doubleheader tonight over South Side. And in this game, they win 87-69 by the hot shooting of Anthony Martin. For my cameraman, David, I'm Ryan Dellinger, and you've been watching high school basketball on SummitCitySports.com.